Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily estimate the above ground biomass using this NICFI satellite data program based map for tropical forest monitoring in Africa region. So in this case, I want to use the planet satellite imagery, and further I will try to explain about that how we can easily estimate the above ground biomass using this satellite imagery. So basically, this satellite imagery, uh, it's the catalog on our planet, and it's very high resolution satellite imagery, and uh, we can get almost 4.77 meter, almost 5 meter resolution. We can easily get from this satellite imagery, and this satellite imagery mainly provides the blue, green, red, and near infrared band. Only for four band, we can easily extract from here. So in this case, I want to use this satellite imagery and further we try to apply the machine learning model to predict ground biomass density as well as we also try to use this another data set. So basically this is the ESA world cover data set. So from this data set, mainly we try to use and then we try to extract the information mainly uh, shrubland and also Tree cover, okay. So tree cover and shrubland. So I want to estimate the above ground biomass on tree cover, mainly trees and also shrubland. So if you want, you can also use the land use land cover classification and also get the information for tree cover, shrubland, vegetation, or cropland. But in this case, I want to use the ready made data set for ESA world cover data set, it provides the 10 meter resolution. And I want to use the data set and extract the information for tree cover and shrubland. And further, I want to just estimate what the scenario for above ground biomass density on tree cover and shrubland. As well as we also use the another data set. So basically, this is the another data set. This data set mainly above ground biomass density. It's one kind of ready made data set. And from this data set, we can easily get the monthly. Uh, predicted above ground biomass density we can easily use the data so this data mainly I use for checking the validation okay or also checking the accuracy with my satellite data so I want to use this satellite data for predicting above ground biomass and further I want to use the data for checking the accuracy or correlation okay so I'll try to explain all of details one by one. So I hope we can easily uh, get the idea how we can easily work with this planet satellite imagery to predict above ground biomass density. So let's go. So first of all, just simply import the study area and I put the variable name suppose AOI. And this is the image collection of planet satellite imagery for the Africa region. And how we can use this satellite imagery for your own study area. So basically, we can easily get the data for planet data in Asia region or also Africa region or Latin America region. You can easily find out. But this planet satellite imagery, so basically, is that catalog is the planet with the owner. So for that, this data set is part of publisher catalog, uh, not managed by Google. Okay. So that's why you need to registration. Yeah, with the planet satellite imagery when, when you want to use it so i already make a tutorial about that how we can easily filtering and displaying the planet satellite imagery in google Earth engine simply watch it and further you also continue from here so just to simply import it this image collection and filter my image collection between this time period and i take the first imagery from here so this is my imagery okay and further if you check my imagery for that you can see this is the imagery the planet imagery so in the planet imagery we can easily add different types of band combination suppose i put at the red then put at the green and also put at the blue suppose i put the custom stressing 98 percent for better looking of this visualization just apply so now it displays the natural color and it's very high resolution if i zoom then you also get the more better idea because it's the 4.77 meter okay, very high resolution satellite imagery planet you can easily use it okay so now this is my satellite imagery 
and this satellite imagery i want to apply random forest and then further we try to extract the information for above ground biomass density and also compare with this data set ready-made data set which is already available in google earth engine data catalog so basically above ground biomass density okay so let's go this is my satellite imagery i want to use it for predict so after doing these things we need to also calculate the ndvi so basically we calculate the ndvi from the nic images okay, so you already make the variable look like that and just apply the normalized difference function between the near infrared band and red band and calculate the ndvi okay so we just create the variable and then simply add bands with this variable name so basically in this case it create the ndvi map if i just show you the ndvi map so we find out this type of ndvi map it generate from NICFI mainly planet satellite imagery it generated from the from here so it look like that if you want you can also just try to uh, stressing then you also get the more better visualization for NDVI if you want you can also change this type of color so just I try to stress 98 percent and then I can see we can get this type of uh, imagery for NDVI so basically this type of color is indicating about the high NDVI or if you want you can also use any kind of color plated storage if any so after creating the ndvi we also try to visualize the satellite imagery as well as also visualize the ndvi so now we also load the another data set so basically this data set uh, is the roster above ground biomass density and this data set will a 25 meters resolution and from where you can get the one band because it's the ready-made data set you can find out the predicted above ground biomass density we can also use the data in here so here you can see just simply uh, import the image collection for the data and from the data you can easily get the information for above ground biomass prediction from here and now simply we just try to apply some function basically this type of function define the quality marks for filtering this data that says l for quality flag or also degrade flag so take a look on our equal to zero remove the all of degrade fault so just simply uh, define the quality marks for that and now calculate the relative standard error and also pixel wise deviation the standard error actual value and also satellite value we try to put in here so just uh, divide it with that just create a function for error marks and relative just call this band name and divide it with this another one so calculate the relative standard error using these things and also take the update 0 0.5 keep the data with relative uh, standard error uh, less than equal 50 percent we take in here like 0 0.5 we take so that uh, we also try to prepare the slope marks so basically load the srtm data this is the srtm data and compute the dam and first of all also compute about that uh, slope mainly angle and we just take only for that 30 less than 30 okay less than 30 keep the data for areas with slope uh, less than 30 degree angle and further process this data for define the boundary and time range so we simply put our specific boundary as well as also filtering the time period start date and in date as well as we also try to gap filtered so basically filter this data with the specific time and also uh, a specific boundary mainly filter bounds okay and also projection we try to take the data we just simply put this projection of the above ground biomass data and also apply all of things suppose apply quality marks simply call this function variable name in it apply error marks apply slope marks everything we try to add in here and create the mosaic and select this band and further we try to display the result for that uh, at the layer of this map so map dot add layer can see this is the layer we try to add in here but in this case we try to do these things only for the specific uh classes specific land use land cover classes so in this case i want to use the data set and i want to check what the scenario of the above ground biomass density on the tree cover and shrub land so for this region we try to take also some training sample yeah we take the training sample only for these two classes so i select my study area I put these things and also see it okay 
now return these points as well as also call these points for the boundary okay and then import the land use land cover data okay import the land use land cover data will the esl and cover be and select this map and define the class only for the tree and shrub land tree cover and shrub land you simply call from the data set okay and apply the land cover max planet images simply apply in here and extract the land cover type for each point okay so simply call these points and further sampling with this resolution okay and now we take the points including only those tree cover and shrubland because we try to extract the information only for the tree cover and shrubland and update training and testing data we try to apply the random okay so we take the suppose uh 70 percent data for training and 30 percent data for testing so just we simply split the data okay and predicted variable so in this case we try to use here uh, this type of uh, blue, green, red, green, green. So basically, I want to use this type of pet as a predicted variable. And further, just try to apply the level. So this is the level about there, and apply the random forest. So I put the random forest fifty number of trees, and then set output for regression and train this model. Okay. And further, uh, after training the model, we try to simply connect our NIC imagery in here. And predict the above ground biomass map. So in this case, it's loaded for that. You can see we find out this type of map, and this result only show for tree cover and uh, top land. We find out this type of map. So this is the average above ground biomass density, and this is the unit about that. And we also try to uh, put these type of things. So basically, this is the process to estimate the above ground biomass, as well as this data set will help you to compare compare the accuracy with your satellite based data. So we find out that you can see root mean square error is that 18.21, and we find out that r square value 0 0.36. Okay, so this is the process to use the satellite imagery and apply the machine learning predict above ground biomass so in this case i want to use this data not only for the data if you want you can also use it for landsat or sentinel same process you can also try but in this case we try to use the planet satellite imagery because it's more better resolution than landsat and sentinel as well as i also use the ready made data set for land use land cover classification if you want you can also use your own data set such as you can just simply make the classification using Lancer or Sentinel imagery. But the extract the information for tree cover, shrubland, or grassland or cropland. Then you also try to check what the state of the above ground biomass. As well as I also use the data set. So basically, this data set provide me the ready made above ground uh, biomass density data. So this data set I want to use, and further we try to use the data for calculating the accuracy. Mainly we try to check for RMSE root mean square error and R square value. Okay, so this is the process uh, if you have any question or any doubt you can simply contact with me and if you want to work further also learn more details about these things simply contact with me and in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so basically uh, this class will be start from the 13th december and now this registration is the opening okay so this is our complete online training on google earth engine for remote sensing and gis analysis for the beginners to advanced level so basically in this online training program i try to focus only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the programming mainly javascript or python or if you have totally zero knowledge don't worry about that after completing this full seven days online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly using the google earth engine so this is our online training program and already join some people so now only some seats are available to get the 50 percent discount if you want to get this 50 percent discount on this online training program as soon as possible simply complete your registration and how we can restart so simply contact in this whatsapp number or if you want you can also contact with this email and then further complete your registration and join our google classroom and also join our whatsapp group so this class will be start on 13 december and if you want to join so and also get the 50% discount so as soon as possible simply book your seat
and this is our total seven days online training program i take the class only for the friday and saturday in a week and each day mainly four hours and this is the time about that so if you don't join the live training program don't worry you also get the recorded class so basically every live training program we are also providing this class recorded you can easily get the information from recorded not only for the recorded you can get all of course material such as uh, pdf slide or also get the all of practice code you can easily get it from here so you can check all of details about the course content so basically for the this the course content will be covered in the total seven days so i already added all of information in the video description as well as you can also visit my website and also check all of details and when you want to join this online training program you can get some benefits such as you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of assignment you can get the all of course material mainly slide pdf you can also get the practice code you can also get the recorded class okay as well as you can also get the lifetime teaching support so basically as a beginners when you want to learn the google earth engine or cloud-based platform you face a lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support okay so when you want to join our online training program when you face any problem regarding our online training program regarding our course content when you face any problem or any confusion you can get the lifetime free support so if you want to join this online training program simply contact with the email and also contact with whatsapp number for the book your seat and join our online training program so thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe